Hi, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy Ologe, the intentional parent. You're just joining me for the first time if you are. Welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my videos. We share everything parent. You want to know? Just stay here. We share videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But for this whole of this August, we're sharing videos every day just for you. Because we are up on a challenge called 30 days of how well you know your child. So today, one day turn and we're hmm, looking at a question. Very interesting question today. Yes, yes. What embarrasses your child the most? Hmm. I'm sure a lot of parents don't know what this question is, what the answer to this question is. Many times we are more concerned about how the children are embarrassed us. <laughs> I know I caught you there. And I'm sure that you're thinking, oh no, yes. Because we are constantly, oh, you're embarrassing me. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Do we also think that the children also feel embarrassed at some point? Think about it. Does it make sense? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So many times we're more concerned about that. But our children also feel embarrassed. Don't forget that children also feel embarrassed. And sometimes, you know, we, we actually just shut them out and we tell them you're not supposed to. That's not true. All right. So our daughter says that making fun of her mistakes actually embarrasses her. So a lot of the times we come and we make fun of children's mistakes. We say things that is, is just not okay. We share things on social media in quotes and we actually shame them without even knowing that that's what we're doing. And you know, I said, I've said over and over again that social media will matter to the Gen Zia in future because it's going to be a huge determinant factor, both the Gen Zia and Generation Alpha. So the Gen Zia's are children born between um, children 23 years and below to 10. Actually, the people we refer to as the Gen, Gen Zia's um, and then um, 10 and, and from 0 to 9, from 0 to 10 are actually Generation Alpha. So the Generation Alpha children, if you're watching this video in 2020, so that's, that's what I'm assuming that you're watching this video in 2020, yeah? So the Generation Alpha children are the children that are from 0 to 9. We actually shared the video right here on the how to identify and the things that the Gen Z child or even the Generation Alpha child will battle with. All right, so our daughter says that it actually makes her feel really, feel really, really embarrassed, especially when it's repeated outside the family. So a lot of the times our friends come over, we start talking about the things that the children have done. We do that a lot and we think it's just okay. No, it is not okay. You need to understand that, that it's not okay to just feel that everything thing that happens, the child uh, is a child now, doesn't know what we're talking about. Please don't do that to your child. All right. I honestly didn't know this about our daughter until some time ago, actually, and we took this challenge. That's when I now realized that okay, she feels embarrassed when you you know talk about you know the mistakes that she has done. So she 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 prefers that you deal with it, and that's it. Our son doesn't like you, you know, um, talking, talking a lot, a very long time. So he also feels embarrassed. So you need to understand what works for your child. What actually embarrasses this child that you're raising? Now, this challenge today is posing a very crucial question to you. Go and think about embarrassment and please do not shame your children. Shaming is one thing that I have seen that have become a thing in us. Now we're doing it subtly. Now we, we even shame children on social media. We shame children in real life. We shame them on social media. We shame, and we think they are children. They will not feel anything. Please don't create a circle of shame for your child. Take this challenge today. Ask your child, what is that thing that most embarrasses them? Stop doing it. So don't just ask and not take action. I want you to ask and continue to actually find solutions. So one of the reasons why we're sharing these challenges is not for you to just 
you know, wake up and just say, oh, I've, I know what it is. I just know my child. No, we also want you to create a child who is better eventually. So we are not looking for, you know, you to just say, I know. What are you doing with the knowledge? We want you to do something with that knowledge that you are acquiring. All the knowledge you're acquiring in this challenge, please turn it around to something that will help you. Don't just sit back and say, nah, it just doesn't, it just doesn't matter and all that and all that. Please think about this process. Please think it through. And then when you have your answers, begin to implement and help your child do these things better. I am so glad that you are on day 10. Wow, we have 20 days to go. But you know what? I would like to hear your feedback. Write in the comment section. Tell us, what did you find out about your child, your child's embarrassing moment? If you think that it's something that you need help on, you can reach out to us as well so that we can help you be able to structure what it is that will help you. But most importantly, remember, do not shame that child. Shame is not something you want to build on for your child. I know that a lot of people use shame as a form of discipline. Please stop it today. It's a wrong form of discipline. You want to learn more about the discipline that does not work. We have videos right here about what discipline is not. Just go to the playlist and view everything. However, we also have the book, The Discipline That Works. You might want to get a copy, send me a chat, send a comment session, how do I get your book? Or simply go to my website, www.wendyologi.com. Most importantly, don't forget to join our communities. We have a vibrant community on Facebook called The Intentional Parent. Almost 34,000 parents as at, as at now that were sharing this video in 2020, right? So you want to just, you know, get the link, join us. The conversations that happen there are amazing. Wow. You want to be there. And then do you follow us on our Instagram page, The Intentional Parents? On this Instagram page, we share lots of nuggets on parenting, lots of tips that can help your journey. You can also find us on Telegram channels where we share lots and lots of articles. And you can also follow me on my personal page, Wendy Ologe. Just put Wendy Ologe where you are. You will find me on any platform, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. You can also reach out to me via the number that you can see right in the description of this video. Thank you so much for being here. See you tomorrow in the next video, day 11, where we're going to be sharing with you another mind-bugging question that you need to share and know more about your child. Don't forget, most importantly, to subscribe to the channel right here and then go and turn on the notification button. You see the bell? That bell, you need to turn it on so that when we share videos, you are going to get notification and then we will be here with you thank you again for being here see you in our next video